We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope everybody's doing good today. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready. Get ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get oh, ready. Because this tea is what? Piping hot. So everybody and their mama's been asking me to speak on this whole Corey Feldman situation. So if you guys don't know, Corey Feldman released a video the other day. It was trending on YouTube where basically he's stating that he's getting ready to release the names, that he wants to release the name of all of these Hollywood pedophiles that sexually molested and raped him and Corey Hain. But in order for him to release that, he wants everybody to help him finance a film that would expose this ring of pedophilia in Hollywood. And the goal for this campaign that he set up on Indiegogo was $10 million. Um, I checked on it today and it looks like he's at almost 200000 and so a lot of people have been mixed about this. A lot of folks have ran to support and they're saying, you know, we got to support Corey. He's been talking about this for years. Other people feel like, you know what, Corey, you know, you're using a lot of emotional manipulation to try and get money. You know what I'm saying? If you really care about the children, if you really want to stop pedophilia, drop the names, like stop talking about it, but then not naming these people. And you're saying that they're still in the industry, they're still powerful, but yet and still you're not calling them out, meaning that you're allowing other other children and other young people to become victims of these sick people that you know that molested and hurt you and Corey Hames. So a lot of people are really, really you know conflicted with this. And not to mention, um, Corey Hames's mother spoke out the other day. So this is what Corey Hames's mother had to say. She says he's been talking about revealing names of his and other abusers for the past seven years. Corey Hames's mother, who has tangled with Feldman in the past about his concoction, that Hames, who died in 2010 at 38 of pneumonia, was repeatedly abused as a child by multiple individuals. She's convinced that a molestation incident involving her son occurred on a single occasion at the hands of one man. Now he wants $10 million to do it? Come on, it's a long con. He's a scam artist. If he was serious about this, he'd have shared the information with the police. Judy also added that her understanding of the overall situation gleaned over time. There is no all-powerful pedophilic ring at the studio level to uncover, despite Feldman's hype, but likely rather a series of isolated incidents often linked to film set relationships. It's disrespectful to sexual assault survivors and their loved ones in and out of the industry to get their hopes up about uncovering mass conspiracy conspiracy because he will not name any names ever if people are really out there and potentially still in danger why would he not want to name them right now judy believes the timing of the indiegogo campaign shortly after the louisiana drug bust Feldman has described as a shakedown accompanying the breakup of his band a week ago should be clear to his motives. I don't understand how the press that's not giving him all this attention isn't getting it. She says it's all a distraction. So after she did that interview with the Hollywood reporter, Corey Feldman then took to Twitter and this is what he had to say. Check this out. All right, so you guys just saw the tweet. You know, and the fact that Corey Hames' mother has never liked Corey Feldman and has always, you know, tried to distance herself from them, from him, I definitely feel like there's more to the story as to why they don't like each other. And I don't know if you guys ever watched the show, The Two Corys, back in the day. That show never felt right to me, even before Corey came out and was exposing pedophilia. The way he kind of threatened Corey Hames, and Corey Hames was like literally off his rocker. He was doing a lot of drugs. You can tell the industry really fucked Corey Hames up. You know, that man went through some shit. And to see them go back and forth, it never sat well with me because it's like if you knew that information even back then, you still never said anything. Check out the last interaction of Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. Check this out. I can destroy you right now and you know it. Corey, I'm saying right I don't, here. I don't need to go do ahead. that. I don't have to do Corey, that. Corey, I'd love to see you even attempt to do something like that. Are you f kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding you right You're now? You're an easy target, bro. I'm right here. Let's do this. I'm right here. Hit me with the hardest bull you got. Now, why would I want to try and hurt you 
Corey, you opening up to the world about me having a knife in my pocket, and the reason I wear this, man, is like to cover up some scars I have, because like I used to cut into myself, because it's a way to feel, I hear. And like mentioning that, you just ripped the envelope, man. I'll go you one better. You let me get around in my life, man, raped, so to speak. When I was about 14 and a half, and I'm saying this right now, by the guy you still f***ing hang out with, and tell me I'm 14 and a half, take responsibility. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What'd you do, man, when you saw that going down when I was 14 to me? What'd you do? You knew about it, besides being his best friend. What'd you do? What'd you do? Tell us what you did, man. I believe Blind I Blind to cocaine with me. You, God you, bless you. You, you, you want to talk about the truth? Okay, well, then let's talk about the truth. I was being molested at the same time by somebody else. What'd you do? What'd you do? Talk to you about it. You talked to me about yeah, it? Yeah, sure. You told me while I was sleeping, this happened, this happened. I'm like, right. you weren't sleeping. Yeah, I was sleeping. Try to talk to you about it. Yeah. Sure. Were you sleeping? I was awake, Corey. I was okay. very aware of what's going on with me. <sighs> Sorry, we might take this to go. Okay. Bye. Would be the probably smartest thing to do. You know what? Corey, you want to put all that shit on man, the table? You want to just that? put you in the ground, kid? Yeah, okay. Really, it's not okay. good me around you. It's detrimental for my health, man. You really, 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 really up in your head kid and I really don't want to be your friend anymore I can't I can't it's not that I don't want to be I can't well that's where it's at I can't it's gonna take a lot of development and I'm a little bit concerned about whether this is the right move right now because first of all it means I don't think Corey's gonna be able to leave I think he's gonna have to stay here I'm just telling you he can't stay here even if he doesn't stay in the house even if he stays at a hotel and he even if he's at a hotel somewhere in town, he'll be here. Yeah. He can't stay here. Um, hi. Can I interject for a minute? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be eavesdropping. But that's wrong. What's wrong? No, I'm just saying I stayed for that meeting here. for this? All I'm she saying, saying is that she was <laughs> whatever, dude. Here. I'm calling a cab. I'm saying I'm he's staying here. Come on. I know, that's Susan, all? I heard that very clearly. And you know what? I don't need to be here. I could leave. You guys. No, this is you your guys. problem, not you guys. You guys. This is your problem but i think your wife man like being in the middle dude right. we just had a good meeting right. everything's fine right, What's dude? great problem? guy great you meeting i don't give a shit about that i you give a shit about this family you understand that he's telling me about what's going on and that you I may need to that. be around for a long time and i'm going no he can't stay and he, you what am i a germ i don't need your attitude okay so I you're don't. his wife you could talk to me i don't think so i don't need your attitude Susie, I, dude I you guys gotta be calm your wife on a Leash, man, she's pissing me off Elise. now, dude. Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah, so what? You back her up all the time? Yes, I back her up all the time. We're a team. Okay. You don't have a team, so you don't understand. Why are you such a bitch? Hey, watch me, dude. Kid, look. What the? Do not accept me, boy. You don't call my wife a bitch. You want to step? You want to step? I will knock you out, kid. You Stop. don't want to do this with me. Stop it. Do you understand that? It's not worth it. You don't want to do this. You Stop. don't want to do it. I will kill you. The world mess you Stop. up. Stop. 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 Get out of the middle. Stop. 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 It's not worth it. I don't know what the f is going on with you and Susie, but I'm done with it. Do you understand me? And that's that's it. All right, so you guys just saw their last interaction that was filmed on television. It was really sad. I remember even watching that show back then, and it's just like it never felt right to me, and I felt like Corey Haim was being used, you know, like he needed the money, so that's why he did the show. But it was basically a deterioration of what was left of their relationship. After that, they didn't talk. They didn't speak. They didn't hang out. It was over with after that. So today he's been doing his media appearances, and he went on the Today Show. Um, he went on to speak to Matt Lauer and Matt Lauer really, you know, held his feet to the fire and asked him a lot of pressing, poignant questions. Some folks were offended by Matt Lauer's questions, but I don't think there was any reason to get offended. I think people do need to be questioned, especially when you're asking for $10 million. People have the right to ask why and, you know, what is it for? Where's the money going and why didn't you speak out earlier? So I appreciate Matt Lauer for being honest with him and asking him some poignant questions. He also did an interview with Megyn Kelly today as well. 
love. And that interview was okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the interview that he did with Matt Lauer. Go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Feldman, a former child star, is trying to raise $10 million to fund a documentary that he says will expose a ring of pedophiles in the movie industry. We'll talk to him exclusively in a moment, but first his latest effort to tell his story. We have the ability to let our voices be heard and break the dam of silence. Corey Feldman once again opening up about the dark side of the spotlight. In a new YouTube video, the former child star vowing to expose a ring of Hollywood pedophiles who he claims abuse thousands of children. I can name six names, one of them who is still very powerful today. Feldman posting the video after launching an online campaign aimed at raising $10 million to fund his plan to reveal what he calls the truth. I propose to do this by making a film that will be the most honest and true depiction of child abuse ever portrayed by telling my own story in a very real way. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. A 1980s teenage heartthrob, Feldman became best known for his roles in movies like The Goonies, The Lost Boys, and Stand By Me. Keep me on TV! Sure! We'll be heroes! But along with the fame, Feldman says he learned firsthand about Hollywood's big secret, a secret he tried to reveal without naming names. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. And they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. And children aren't supposed to handle that sort of stuff. Humiliation. I know I've been through it, but that's all over now. Feldman has long claimed as young actors, he and fellow child star Corey Haim were molested by older men in the entertainment industry. Allegations he also wrote about in his 2013 memoir, Choreography. I've been living in fear and been living with this my entire life. But this morning, Feldman's latest proclamation drawing criticism from Haim's mother, Judy, who tells NBC News she wants her son's name left out of it, saying, quote, if he finally decides to release names and tell the world who they are for the sake of more victims, I'll be 100 percent behind him. But if he's waiting to release the names in the movie, I don't support that. He doesn't need 10 million dollars to do it. And Corey Feldman joins us now a lot. Corey, good morning. Good to see good you. Good morning, Matt. You reacted to that comment sitting here. I'll get to that in a second. This is very personal for you. Yes, it's it very is. emotional. It's something you've talked about for years. Let me start by asking you, how prevalent is what you're talking about in Hollywood today? I believe there's a lot of darkness in Hollywood right now, and I believe it's been there for quite some time. And as we've seen with the Harvey Weinstein scandal, it continues to unfold. New names come forward every day. Now there's names of uh, misconduct with Kevin Spacey, with this you know child actor who came forward today. It's going to continue unraveling. This is just the beginning. It's just the tip of the iceberg. So everything you're seeing is building up to what I believe is going to be a dam breaking open. So let me talk about this Corey's Truth effort. You want to raise $10 million. You yes. want to pr produce and direct this documentary. It's not a documentary. It's a I film. I to stop you there. It is a film. I want to make a feature film, which is why we need the budget that we need. There's actors, there's scripts, there's special effects. But is it effects, going to involve real effects. people, real names of people active in Hollywood it right now? It will be a very true story. We will have every name that every everybody that affected my life i'm going to give the perspective that i can give what i viewed what i experienced from a first-hand account in all fairness though we've been down this road before with you and you have promised never. in the past to name names never in your book you said you when you were talking about your book you said you were going to blow the lid and this off this is of why this. i'm doing this because when i wrote my book the publishers prevented me from writing the names well, that's down. what i meant by they we were down this road before yeah. we didn't get the names exactly we were promised exactly. last time which is why i'm taking taking the matter into my own hands and this is why I need America's support I need the world's support because I must make a film with no executives no VPs yeah, why do you no need lawyers. 10 million dollars film students make movies for fractions well that's a fra film student we're talking about a theatrical release we're talking about I'm gonna four wall the theaters I'm gonna self distribute self market make the film and hire a team of attorneys who are gonna pr protect me and the film when everybody comes out today after me you've raised just released. under two hundred thousand dollars okay is that about right so so it's going to take a long time
to raise ten million dollars. Well, and yeah. you've just told me that this is still prevalent in Hollywood. So yeah. every day you wait, every day you try to raise money, mm. I would imagine you believe that children are being abused by pedophiles in Absolutely. Hollywood. Absolutely. So why are you sitting down talking to me? Why aren't you sitting down with the police right now? I've told the police. In fact, if anybody wants to go back to 1993, when I was interviewed by the Santa Barbara Police Department, I sat there and I gave them the names. They're on record. They have all of this information. But they were scanning Michael Jackson. All they cared about was trying to find something on Michael Jackson. Who you said, by the way, did not abuse you. Who Michael was innocent. And that was what the interview was about with the police in 1993. I told them, he is not that guy. And they said, well, maybe you just don't understand your friend. And I said, no, I know the difference between pedophiles and somebody who's not a pedophile because I've been molested. Here's the names. Go investigate. And let me push this forward. There are thousands of people in Hollywood who have this same information. Why is it all on me? Why is it if I don't release the names in the next two months, six months, or a year, I'm the bad guy. I'm the victim here. I'm the one who's been abused. I'm the one who's trying to come forward and do something about it. But there are, hold back. on, please, I'm sorry. There are thousands of people out there, Matt, who have this information. Any one of those child actors that went to the teenage soda pop clubs with me when I was a kid know who those people are and the people who ran it. Anybody can go back through history and look at the teen magazines and say, what was the name of that venue they were all promoting and who ran that venue you've and said, who endorsed it? You've said you've had death threats yes, um, because you have this information yes. and have threatened to expose it. Another reason, I think, to go to police, that's a crime to threaten someone's life. I've gone to the police with that as well. And, and, and what would be wrong with going to the police now again? Didn't work out in San, Santa Barbara. There's a Barbara. statute of limitations, Matt, in the state of California, which protects people. It's not that way in New York. It's that way only where the movie industry is, conveniently enough, in California. That's the seriousness of this. You cannot, because if I were to go to the police, I would be the one who's getting sued. Henceforth, I need a team of lawyers, and I need a team of security to be around me at all times to keep me safe so I can get this message done. Real, real I'm not playing around. It's serious stuff, and I value I will release every single name that I have any knowledge of. All right, so you guys just saw the interview with him and Matt Lauer, um, and he also went on Megyn Kelly, and she said that they did reach out to the Santa Barbara uh, Police Department. They did not reach back out to them as of yet. So, I mean, I don't, I honestly, you guys, I'm so torn with this case. I really am. While Corey Feldman has always spoken up about pedophilia in the industry, you know, it's never sat well with me because he's never dropped any names. You know, it's like he's always, you know, dangled this carrot in front of everybody's face, but he's never, you know, tossed the carrot out and fed us the names. And, you know, and I understand Hollywood is very powerful and I understand he feels like his life is in danger. Trust me, I get it. But, you know... I don't know how I feel about this because part of me, I feel like, okay, he's being sincere and he really wants to, you know, get the information out here. But then again, why does it have to be a full length feature film? You know, why not do a documentary? Documentary is half the price. You have film students who will shoot a documentary for you. You know, you have people right now who are so invested in trying to expose Hollywood. They probably willing to do this, you know, for free and then just take money on the back end once all the money comes in. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of veterans who would volunteer to help, you know, give him security. And then once, you know, the video gets released and the money comes in, he can pay them back. You know, so I, I don't know. I, I'm honestly really torn. Like, you know, I feel like he has information. You know, I feel like I believe everything that he went through. I don't think that he's lying about that at all. I definitely believe that him and Corey Hames were definitely assaulted, molested and raped. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of people out there who know. And I agree with Corey that, yeah, is it fair that it's all on him when other people know? And I get what he's saying, but you're the one who's trying to expose it. You're the one who's putting the story out there, not other people. So you have to take personal responsibility. If you're going to put it out there, then, you know, what I'm saying go hard or go home. You know, will I tell people not to donate? No, that's not my place. If you feel in your heart and your spirit to donate to his cause, then by all means do that. I don't think it's fair for people to say, no, don't donate and don't, you know, if it's a scam, he's going to have to deal with that with God. You know what I'm saying? It's not for me to judge. Hopefully, once he gets this $10 million, if he's able to accumulate $10 million, 
I hope and I pray that he does right by that money. I hope he doesn't get this money and then dip off to damn Europe somewhere and we never see him again. I hope he legit puts out a movie. It better be a damn good movie. It better be a damn good blockbuster. It better have good distribution and release and all that because people are ready for the information and it hurts my heart that open secret, you know what I'm saying, there was all this hype and then nothing. You literally have to search for the movie Open Secret. And I talked about this a few months ago when folks were getting back on Bill Cosby. And I'm like, there's all this shit on Bill Cosby. But what about, what about these perverts from our Open Secret? This movie came out and there was not a word from anybody in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? They had backing and then everybody pulled out at the last minute. You know, and it's really sad. If you haven't watched Open Secret, definitely watch it. It's on YouTube. You know, it's a really good movie. I recommended it a few months ago. You know, so I don't want this situation to end up like an Open Secret. Because before an Open Secret came out, there was a lot of hype behind it. And then once it was released... All hype died down. I'm like, damn, whatever happened to that movie that Corey Feldman and other people were hyping up? I haven't seen anything about it. And then when I went to go search for it, I'm like, damn, the movie did end up coming out. But there was literally no fanfare, no noise. Nothing was spoken about that movie. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of nervous. Like, is the same thing going to happen with Corey Feldman's movie? So it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. I'm not going to sit here and judge him. I'm not going to call him a hero, nor am I going to call him an opportunist. I'm just going to sit back and sip tea and watch how all this plays because I really don't know what angle to take this situation and that's just me being honest so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping let me know what you guys think about this entire situation concerning Corey Feldman do you feel like he's a hero you know what I'm saying for doing all of this and trying to you know make a movie do you feel like he's being an opportunist you know what I'm saying and do you feel like he's just you know using emotional manipulation to get money or do you feel like he will do right by this money and then how do you guys feel about his two interviews that he did today if you guys want to watch the Megan Kelly interview I'll post a link in the comment section. You guys can click on it and go watch it. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure you click that bell so you can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.